All right, welcome back to another load data video. So today we're gonna to go over the Acme 45 Colt 200 grain round nose flat point bullet. And this is a high tech coated bullet. So first things first is case overall length is 1.584. Um, that's our foil loaded. This is some Starline brass with a federal primer. And like I said, our bullet. So this is the 200 grain bullet. Um, just like the 250 grain bullet, if you haven't checked out that load data video, go check it out right here. Uh, we did use the same four powders that we did in that video as well, but we added one more. So the powders that we chose today were the Tight Group, Accurate Number no. 5, Vitivory N320, Winchester 231, and then Alliant Unique. So I want to kind of talk specifically about each powder now. So the Tight Group, we started at 5.3 grains of powder, and the one other thing that I did realize about this powder, and I did a little bit of research on these, so this powder is a spherical double-based powder which is tends to be very very common in your pistol cartridges so it's nothing out of the ordinary for that now the next powder is the alliant unique started at the 7.5 grains of this powder and this powder has the highest case capacity um, out of the other ones or the case fill i should say so even at 7.5 grains which was not our our most powder in the case it was the most capacity in it just because it's so fluffy and this is a flake powder and that's why it takes up so much space the next powder is the Vitivory N320, and this is one of my favorites, um, just because it's typically not a powder you see that's used in pistol cartridges, and that's a porous tubular powder. And we started at 6.5 grains of powder for that guy. And then one of my all-time favorites, because of the versatility of the powder, is the Winchester 231. This is a ball powder, um, another very common powder that you see in pistol cartridges as well. So we started at 6.7 grains of powder with that one. And then our last powder is the Accurate number no. 5, and this has the highest charge and grain weight, but since it's so fine, it's another spherical double base powder, just like the Tight Group, it doesn't actually take up a lot of the, the case capacity. So, um, like I said, even though that's starting at 8.9 grains of powder, it's not the most filling one, just like the, unlike the Alliant Unique. So, we're going to take all these loads up. We have three different step loads of each powder, and we're going to take them all in the range and shoot them up and get the data there. And like that, we're out on the range. It's always great when we're able to shoot on a beautiful day like today. So today we will be shooting these 45 Colts through the Smith & Wesson 460 XVR. It's a great revolver, a um, little bit on the bigger side for the 45 Colt, but it still is awesome. The trigger is amazing, especially when you pull it into the single action. So once we get these shot up, we will meet you guys in Willie to talk about all the data. We are collecting these data off of two Garmin chronographs. So once we get all that, we'll meet you guys inside and we'll see you there. Alrighty, welcome back into Willie's and we can go through all the data. So today this is the load data video for the 45 Colt 200 grain round nose flat point bullet. Um, so we shot these through the Winchester 460 XVR. We do understand that that pistol is not specifically for the 45 Colt, but it does work. Um, I'll kind of talk a little bit more about that and why we expected some little bit lower velocities as well. But um, shot these over the Garmin chronograph, two of them actually, just to make sure we're getting good, reliable data. And it shot very, very well. Extremely impressed. The gun was um, shooting really good groups and great SDs and good velocities too. So we'll dive into it. So our case overall length on this 200 grain bullet is 1.584. Um, there is a crimp groove on that bullet, so we're crimping right into that groove. And that's where we come out at. So it's a great seating depth um, on that bullet and seems like it's a really good spot to be. So our sectional density on this bullet is 0 0.140. And obviously this bullet diameter is sized to a 452 diameter. The case is Starline brass and it is once fired stuff. But and then the primer is a, num a federal number 150. So for powder selections, we chose the Hodgkin Tight Group, the Vitivory N320, the Winchester 231, the Accurate number five, and then last, the Alliant Unique. I don't have the Alliant Unique here, so we'll just have to pretend like there's one sitting here. I didn't have one here in the shop. Um, so we'll go into the powders. So the Hodgkin Tight Group. Overall, it was a great powder. Um, shot very, very well. Starting right around 650 feet per second on average, and at our max load, we are at 850 feet per second. And our max load is 6.7 grains, and our minimum is 5.3 grains. Um, the groups were good on average for this, um, one of the better powders that we saw out of the other, out of the five. The next one was the Vitivory N320. Now this was our most accurate powder. It had the 
definitely best averages on groups and one notable group. And these are 10 shot groups. This guy right there. That's a great group. 10 shots all touching for sure. So this was the most accurate powder that we did test through this uh, revolver today and starting at 600 feet per second at 6.5 grains of powder and we climbed all the way to 850 feet per second at 8.2 grains of powder. So like I said, that was our most accurate. I, I'm a huge fan of the N-Vitivory or the Vitivory N320. I love it. I love the, 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 the type of powder it is. I love how clean it is. Um, it always seems to get a good burn too. So now the Winchester 231, another one of my favorites because of how available it is and the versatility to it. You can use this thing on everything it seems like and that's the best part about it. So starting at 700 feet per second, we are at 6.7 grains and when we finished at 900 feet per second, at 8.4 grains of powder. Great powder. Um, if you're in a pinch and you need some powder, you can go pick that up just about anywhere and that's the best thing about it. The Accurate number five. So this powder does have quite a bit more of a charge than any of the other powders. So starting at 8.9 grains of powder, we're still at 600 feet per second. And then we climbed all the way up to 850 feet per second at 11.2 grains of powder. So like I said, this powder has the most charge in it, but since it's so fine and it's a must be a little bit slower burning powder than the others. And then the last one, and honestly, I thought this one was going to do a little bit better for accuracy wise, but this gun didn't specifically seem to like it. So the Alliant Unique, starting at 7.4 grains, we were floating right around 700 feet per second, climbed all the way to 950, per 950 feet per second. And this was our fastest load here at 9.4 grains of powder. So um, that's kind of the gist of it. We really appreciate you guys watching the videos. Let me know if there's something else you guys want to see. We will continue to probably add to all of these charts now too. Um, and we'll republish them, make a new video, kind of do another bonus one, just like our 9 millimeter 125 bonus low data video. Um, but have a great weekend and happy Memorial Day.